The casino. Casino cocktail. cocktail. Thank you. Thank Is you. this your pin? This is a very nice pin. This episode is sponsored by AwesomeDrinks.com. Use coupon code Valentine14. Save 15% off everything in the store. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Show. We're going over on my left side this time, or your right side, the Curd, Curtis McMillan. And we've got over here Ian Anders. Ian is a professional drinker. Um, and <laughs> Curtis is like, he. I don't know what do you do. You have a restaurant that you're building or something. So I'm a professional I appreciate am it. in charge of a speakeasy. He's in charge of a speakeasy. Speaking of speakeasy, you can always join our clan on Class of Clans. Mm. We're, we're Team Nemo, capital I N, capital have M. anything to do with it. Yeah, it has nothing. nothing to do with it. But if you play Clash of Clans, because he said it really easy. He's, now you can jump yeah, into the game, and you can join our clan, and we can do whatever clans do. So there you go. Um, casino, cocktail, it's a classic. Got it from IBA-World.com, International Bartender yeah. Association. One and a quarter, and of course they do everything in CL, so it's all fucked up. Um, it's international, that's why. They yeah, because they want to be like, oh, we just service everybody, not just the Americans who don't know how to measure. Um, measure. So, measure. We're going to measure. measure in ounces. You guys can use CL if you want to go and figure it out. Do what you one want to do. One and a quarter, I think it's 1.3 CL, something like that. One and a quarter ounces of Old Tom Gin. Old Tom. Quarter ounce of Maraschino liqueur. Quarter ounce of orange bitters and a quarter ounce fresh lemon juice. Oh, I have this huge friggin' lemon for a quarter of an ounce. Beauteous. Beauteous! It's about a quarter, right? I'm gonna have to use nope. this oxo glass here for a quarter of an ounce of mm. orange bitters. No, no, just go to a half on this because I'm gonna put a quarter in here. Huh? And then you go to a half. You're going to put a quarter in there? I'm gonna take, take it. <laughs> so what should I do? Go to a half? Go to a half. All right, a quarter and a quarter is a half for those of you. I may make sure these are orange and not habanero. How much do I need? I'll oh, just a half. Quarter? It's a lot of maraschino. Oh. I can't actually see how much is in here because the real estate for my movement is so limiting. Mm. There you go. That's gonna bitter this up, bitches. That's a lot of bitters. I know. And maraschino. But it gives me a good use of the, the, the uh, Scrappy's orange. Shake strain. We need some ice. Put some ice up in here, man. Oh, man. Let's have to drink. Jamaican jerk chicken sounds good right now. I'm really hungry. What is my fucking problem? I don't know. First Dude, it was not eat. No. no. That would do it. You're pregnant. It's there. It. <laughs> it's a boy. Bye, baby. Now, I want a Taco Bell, but I, I don't love those Dorito tacos. Oh, the kids like those, too. Yeah. What? Doritos tacos. Yeah, tacos where the shell's made out of Doritos. Yeah, they That's so clever. Doritos. Why is my camera tilted? I don't know. Does you're, it look tilted to you? I think you're tilted. No. You're crooked. Look at that. Look at that. Maybe you're drunk. It's a little. I don't know. So, no, it looks straight. All right, whatever. Well, shake strain. This is the cocktail glass we're using. Yeah, you can strain that in here. Okay. So I'm basing it off your little sign there. Okay. Hey, my sign's crooked. Hey, you chill up your glass. I might not be able to see what straight is either. These are the new speakeasy glasses I'm going to be carrying soon. Speakeasy martini, cocktail martini, I think is what it's called. Uh, it looks all fancy, uh, but yet still at normal. Okay, what about that lemon twist? It, it, yeah, that. You so, cut it, you went through the effort. Here's the, yeah, I know. Well, here's the problem with lemon twists, is when you cut the lemon ahead of time, you don't get a twist. You don't get a twist. So I'm just going to make it. Oh yep. crap! It's so tiny. <laughs> Rim job. You've heard that before in your life, haven't you? So here's an idea. My my boss came up with this. Tell he me, ran off his tongue. Tell me what you guys think of this. Uh huh. So he said, "But we should. We were on a drive to to Atlantic City, so we had six hours in the car." Yeah. He's like, "What if you make a shooter? We're going to call it the Red Bull, uh, the Red Bull Rim Job. What if you you you." Take all the water out of Red Bull. So you take, you boil some water, you throw Red Bull in a plate, and you you let it all the water boil out. So you end up with a crust. Scrape it with like a, a box cutter or whatever, and then build like a like a powder, and then rim the edge of a shot glass, and then you put your cocktail in there and you do a shot of it. But the rim is all. Do you have Red any Bull. idea how bad like how many bad things are in? That Red sounds Bull? a lot like Breaking you, Bad to me. No, <laughs> but if you if you cook down Red Bull, I don't think. You'd be changing a lot of the components in Red yeah, Bull. Yeah, it's probably making, not going to taste anything. Like, you'd have to do an evaporation, not a cook down. The other an side of it too is is that it's an evaporation. Red Bull 
has like wings, taurine, and other stuff yeah. like that. Like if that stuff gets heated up, I don't know what it would turn into. Well, it's it doesn't matter. It can only do one thing to you: make you awesome or dead. <laughs> You should try it and see what happens. Yeah. So well, I couldn't find anything online on how to. Uh, don't do this at home. To do it, kids. If you're watching this, just don't. don't what the heck kind of kids are watching this? This is an idea. What latchkey kids? <laughs> <laughs> you know, kids in Britain can drink when they're 14. Okay. Mm. So if they can drink when they're 14, they could free base Red Bull. Mm -hmm. free What's base the problem? Red Bull. Well, we're moving up. The problem you see is Derek Red like Bull. light bulb, like smoking, like a thing of Red Bull. I can see that. A little Heisenberg hat on. And, and then it'll get so bad that I have to put it into my eyes because my it my throat's all messed you gotta, up. You gotta start like this tastes like something your, else between your fingers and what does yeah, this taste like? Mind. Tastes like something else. Yep. As opposed to what? It tastes like this. Mm -hmm. it tastes like maraschino with very little gin. I like Boy, that part. Of it. This tastes like the Corpse Reviver. Oh, okay, yeah. The Corpse Reviver, I, I think, know. was a little more sour, wasn't it? Corpse Reviver wasn't as flavorful, I think. I can't remember. It was a while ago. They had the Corpse Reviver on many of Michael Timothy's where we went last night. I'm like, oh, Corpse Reviver. She's like, oh, you should get that. I'm like, no, I'm just pointing out because we've been on the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm famous. That was one of the ones we did when we were famous. It would be funny if there's somebody somewhere in their cocktail menu that has put your name on it. Like, that would be awesome, yeah. This thing from Common Man Cocktails. I mean, Common Man Cool Swan's done it. And I, these guys over there, the OK Energy are going to do it. That's a great question. You want the question of the day? Yeah. yeah. What's the last physical book you've read? Physical book, Lord of the Rings. I was uh, 13. Disney, you. Connecticut Yankee. I just got done reading it yesterday. As a book? Yep. You don't read the Kindle? Huh? You don't have a Kindle? No. Bitter's books. Uh, I mean, I have all my cocktail books on Kindle, but I don't. I, Crush I like, it? read that. I think the last book I read Crush was it. Crush It. That was a good book, too. Uh, I read Michael two Jones. Anthony Bourdain no. books at the beginning yeah, of the week. Yeah, no. And I read... Um, <laughs> I didn't know if it was like play on Beat It. The dude no, from Hell's Kitchen. I read his biography. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. um, so that's bitter. I haven't read a real book in forever. You think this is bitter? Like, I read all of my I've books. I've read books this week. That's a good question. Like last real book you read. No, it's just... I. It's I like work it. related. I just want to like the get a better idea. I don't know about the drink yet. I'm I'm really big on hospitality, and I haven't found a book that's given me the answers that I want. I'll write one for you. I don't know anything about it, but um, that's really weird. It it okay. So maraschino. Well, I don't get a lot of bitterness. I should. Well, junipery with the bitters is kind of. It, it's a weird. It's too much bitters. bitters. Mm. It's, it's tart. Like bitters. Why? It's Very too, citrus. too much bitters. It's a bitter, bitter drink. Are you sure it's just not the uh, fact that we put lemon juice in there? It's oh, the yeah. scrappies. I think it's, it's too much. Scrappies and this lemon juice. This is what juice. they call for. There's not a lot of sweet in this drink, is there? No, this is not a sweet drink. I would just say that that was like a two dash drink. I wouldn't have said that it was a one fourth ounce drink. Yeah, because two dashes is is this not two dash? This is like uh, twenty dashes. I know. Which, but if you taste those, the bitter lingering bite that it has isn't in here. Uh, there's no doubt this is a sour tart, got yeah. all that craziness, with with very much a, to me, you know what sour flavor. Well, it's not missing a bitter, cool ranch so I know how to say it. We could call this the cool orange ranch Dorito taco. Would be the, missing a, an orange cool taco? No, oh, a Dorito taco. taco. No, I don't think it's missing that. It is. No, that's not something that I would pair with this. I think it would. I think this is a well paired drink with that's a some Dorito taco. Or something. No, you just want a Dorito taco. <laughs> you want know, I love tacos. You can't, I love them. You can't pair. You ever no. see Gurf? From... What are you doing? That's sweet. It doesn't need sweet. It's perfect. Okay. Okay. No, perfect was last week. Oh, yeah. Are you still using the same Tabasco sauce that you had since the beginning of the show? I know. That's a new one? Yeah. All right, good for you. Well, I've still got the old one around here. Oh, he's, gross. He's gone through a whole so you don't like this. tapeworms. Yeah, I know. You don't like this? And by the way, it doesn't go bad. I do not like this. No, really. Because it's too bitter? No. It's you should be the guy. You should be okay with the bitter. I, I would prefer to have less bitters. I would too. It's it's pretty overpowering. I mean. Uh huh. I like the. I bet you I'd like that drink without the bitters. With like two dashes? Yeah, because I it's love pretty, last words. It's pretty up in your grill with the bitters. Like a like, last word with Old Tom would still be good. But the, the thing is, what you're basically saying is, I'd like this drink if it had a different name and a completely different recipe. <laughs> no, right? I mean, a that, subtly different recipe. But it had the maraschino core. Right. It has the lemon. Uh-huh. It has What's the gin. What's the last gin. word? Huh? What's the last word? What's your last word? No, what is the last word? Yeah. Cocktail. Yeah, I have it all the time. What's the ingredients? Of the last word? Yes. Of the last word. 
Can I have yes. it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it doesn't work if I don't actually say it. <laughs> Is it this? No. Without the bitters? No. I can't remember what it was. It's been like at least a month. Uh, it would have green chartreuse in it. Oh, that's right, right, right. So I, I, we have that coming up next, actually, for the Sunday Retriever. Okay, so you don't like it because it's got too much bitter. You know what chartreuse you you're like missing? It? Is the, the VSOP or is it yeah, the I XO? I don't know. That's the, that is the best chartreuse because it's only like a hundred and sixty dollar bottle. Yeah, we make it the best. It makes the best. So not a liker. He doesn't know or you. You're yeah, not. it's bitter. I, I, I like a little bit of sweetness in my drinks. There are people who like you like like sweet? straight up bitters, like the yeah. Angie Collins and the ones that have like half a bottle of Angostura. Oh, not my thing. That's why I'm I surprised. Mean, if you because if you like bitters, this is the drink for you. I but mean, I you like a bitter drink. I, I I like like he said two or three dashes of bitters. This one doesn't bother me. I wouldn't mm. say I'd order. I mean, I I might Would order, you order a bunch twice. of these. I'd order one. I could drink it, but I'm not gonna order it again. I would be pissed that I paid for it. Really? Yeah. You'd be pissed that you paid for that. Yeah. Because you could pay for something you, know, you enjoy more. Yeah, exactly. So you're that type of guy. You order something completely blind, and if you don't like it, you're pissed at them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's uh, their fault. No, I, I would. Dick! I wouldn't be pissed at them. I just. No, I mean, like, okay. Time. If I came into a bar and I said, I like. Oh, if you're. I, if I like last words. Yeah. And they gave me this. I wouldn't be upset at them because this is very close. Okay. I would be more like, okay, can you just do something like that but less bitter? Yeah. It's just pour some more juice in it. Right. Mm mm. Uh, just not put half the bottle of scrappies in there. Uh, well, that would probably be a good start. So if you're if you like excessive bitters, that's a drink. <laughs> you could put in your mouth. I don't that think I've ever not... seen a drink that has bitters measured in ounces. Really? Versus dashes. That happens all the, the time. The Angie Collins really? is, yeah. uh, okay. isn't two ounces of Angostura bitters. You no, know I've never seen that drink, so that makes sense now. Yeah, we've done it on the show. It's not good. It tastes like, uh, it tastes like uh, what's the shit? Campari. It, it's, it's bitter. Awful. It's just fire. It's, it's in your grill. Campari tastes like. I'll show you in a few minutes. All right, you're going to taste it for me? You've never tasted Campari? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to baby it. bird it to you. Can you just hand us the Campari? Remember? Let's do this with him on the show. Okay. While they're doing that, you'll be able to get these at AustinDrakes.com. You can get like you some bitters, orange juice. juice. Yeah, you can get some orange bitters at AustinDrakes.com. It used to have uh, red be beetle shells in it before. But it doesn't anymore. doesn't uh, anymore. It, I got something on that. Uh, oh, do you? Uh, not, 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 not necessarily that. But I had somebody who had a Red Bull cocktail at some point. Somebody's like, that has bull, ur or bull semen in it. I'm like, yeah, it does not have bull semen. It's like, just because something says it has taurine and you can get taurine from a specific from animal What's that? doesn't mean it wasn't chemically made. What do you think? Give it a second. When it rips your face apart. You just, you know, just, no. He's not really doing it, is he? Recipe at everydaydrinkers.com. Submit your recipes there. People ask all spicy. the time. Spicy? What? Mm. Are you... Are we tasting the same thing? Are you on crack? I'm going to try some. You, uh, you're doing that on purpose. I don't really want to. No, oh, it tastes spicy to me. I don't know. I don't like it. Mm, got some on my face. I, think it's I told you about when I was in oh. Portland and I got stuck at that party and they made me have to drink it. Dude. I don't think it's They like bad. held me down and put a gun in my mouth. You need a bottle? I mean, it's not something I'm going to ever drink again, but it's all right. I mean, I can see this going in drinks. Just not any that I don't want in my mouth. But yes. Bar and soda, I can see that with a little sweetness to it. Yeah. Yeah. On the rocks, probably not. If you put it in the high life, it's a NASCAR. A NASCAR? Mm-hmm. Miller High Life and, and Kambari. Mm -hmm. That's I'll a drink. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll everything's that. a drink at some point. Yeah. It is. Just whether it's been named yet or not. Yeah. That's the only problem. If this is called is the Ian, DNA? This is called the Ian Andrews. So yeah, I'll, I'll show you how to make an Ian Andrews. Ready? <laughs> That's Campari on the rocks. That's what it says on the back of the bottle. <laughs> oh, dang it! Is there a name? It does already have a name. Sorry. No, well. It was a nice drink. Campari on the rocks. Oh, and it even uses the same friggin' glass. The fact that you're just sitting there drinking it like that just makes me feel so gross right I'm now. I'm not gonna waste it. <laughs> I feel so gross. He's not gonna waste it. You Anyway. Oh. <laughs> just makes me want to cringe. I'm, I'm gagging for him. Oh. Yeah, see what I'm saying? That's that's the, that's the sh that's why you watch this show for stuff like that. <laughs> Finish the show. That's why you have to just the stay show. for the full drink. What is it, is it to make make you think of like blood or something? I mean, no, no it's it just, just tastes, tastes bad. gross. Probably you know harsh. what? It's a, it's a, it's got to be in your DNA. It's, you, it's some people be. just like just it. Just like I was. Yep. Yep. You just need a squirt a squirt of this in there. Yeah, maybe. Get some seeds. Yeah, that's it. Seeds. Everydaydrinkers.com. We're teaching you how to that's drink.
orange DNA in here. Oh, on my pants. <laughs> you just pour, how did you pour that on your penis? <laughs> so we it can make it out later. Like, my penis is thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one for me, one for you, dick. <laughs> Where's your dog? <laughs>